Hello, you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Steve and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the most circular dog in the whole universe, the Chain Chomp. Chain Chomps are pretty interesting for several reasons. They have a very interesting movement pattern and they behave really cool if you put them on tracks. So let's see what we can do with these things. You ready? Let's do this. Our first idea features a swinging spin jump dog bridge. Here Mario has to stay on this dangerous platform, but not only are there several horrific threats along his way, the bridge itself tries to eat him. So Plummer better stays concentrated if he wants to reach the flagpole alive. Here Mario is trapped between two enormous chain jump towers. I seriously have no idea how he manages to get in such situations so frequently. But maybe he's able to survive if he jumps carefully from platform to platform. Hooray! Here our plumber is trapped in a small minigame that starts with a wiggler trigger. The two huge chain chomps on tracks are trying to bite him and his job is to avoid this danger by dodging the dogs and spinning on their heads. Once the P-switch expired, he is able to leave this trap and to enter the next one. And the next trap Mario enters is a really dangerous one. Probably the most dangerous one he's ever been in, Bowser made a huge monster combining modern genetic techniques with old-school Frankenstein tricks. I present to you the Hydra. Mario knows he has no chance of killing this beast. His only chance is to run. Even Bowser seems to be worried. Has he lost the control over his own creation, the Robert Strong of Super Mario Maker? Mario is able to escape this arena, but no one escapes the Hydra. A big thank you to YouTube user Ravage656, he left me the Hydra idea in a comment and I loved it. So here our plumber has to face another supernatural dog beast, but this time it's a little bit less dangerous and he has a real chance of surviving. If he wants to survive, he has to trigger the P-switch and the power block, which are traveling on tracks underneath this arena. So let's take a look on some small chain jump techniques. Here we have a cool mechanic which can be used to create puzzles. No matter how hard Mario tries, he's not able to reach this door. But the helmet he found earlier might help him. It's possible to give chain jumps momentum if you jump with a helmet towards them. Chain jumps on tracks make some pretty interesting enemies if you put them underwater. The underwater physics makes their bouncing way slower and transforms them into a cool obstacle for Mario to dodge. Chain jumps have a really unique movement pattern. Because of this they are excellent for carrying usually static enemies. Just create a small timer and put pouncing fire spitting plants beneath Mario. Or have him travel up to high spots on cannonballs that are shot by jumping cannons. And now, from our ongoing series, what is the most complicated way to trigger a P-switch? I proudly present to you the chain jump solution. Here Mario has to abuse this winged dog as a taxi. While spikes are lethal for Italian jump and runners, chain jumps seem to be immune to their ouching ability. So Mario only has to stay on top of this unchained jump. Oh, and of course he has to avoid the grinders as well. Huge towers of swinging chain jumps can be used to throw a super dangerous dog wall into Mario's path. By the way, Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Mario, stated once that chain jumps were inspired by an event that happened to him during his childhood. A wild dog almost bit him, but Miyamoto was able to get away unharmed because the dog was chained. And now we built ourselves a floor out of dogs. These are stacked pipes. Each one releases five chain jumps at once until the timer to the right expires and Mario drops into a small chain jump spin jump minigame. game. 
Now he only needs to jump on top of the biting floor while he avoids the fireballs that are shot towards him, but once the timer expires, the floor magically transforms into chain jumps again and Mario only needs to catch another chain jump taxi to escape. Before we head to my favorite idea, I have to show you something. I browsed the levels you left me in comments and I found this great stage called Journey with an Unchained Jump by a maker called Billy. It's a fantastic co-op level where Mario has to guide this jump through a lot of obstacles. I highly recommend you to check the stage out. I'll leave you the ID in the description. Oh, and there's another small channel related announcement that I need to make. I never planned to start a YouTube channel and somehow slipped into it by accident and I love it. I obviously love Mario Maker and I will definitely continue to make tons of cool tips and tricks videos for you, but I've been playing Mario Maker exclusively for almost 5 months now and I want to start to cover some other games as well. The first game I want to cover additionally to Mario Maker is a small Swedish indie game by a single person called Notch. You probably never heard about it, it's something with blocks and zombies. So don't be surprised if a video about another game pops up over the next couple of weeks and don't worry, I'll definitely keep on doing Mario Maker videos. And now, let's take a look on my favorite idea. I like to call this one the Swinging Wall Biter. And you'll see why. And that's it for today and for Chain Chomps. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially unchained today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!